Hey, are you thinking of moving to South Orange, New Jersey? Well, today in your luck, we're here at the train station. We're about to go downtown and take a tour, show you what's here, and help you understand if this is the right town for you. Let's get going right now. This is your first visit to the channel and you're looking to learn everything there is to know about the Midtown Direct suburbs of New York City, then subscribe below and tap the notifications bell so you can be the first to hear about the current market conditions here in New Jersey and New York. Hey, I'm Jeff. The team and I, we get calls every day from people just like you who are thinking about moving to one of New York City's amazing suburbs. So whether you're moving in seven months or seven days, give us a call, shoot us a text or send us an email so we can help you find the perfect place. Hey, we're here in South Orange, New Jersey. I'm standing in front of the firehouse beautiful gothic brick building with this amazing tower the sun behind me and we're about to jump downtown and take a little tour of the city as I mentioned at the top we're right here in front of the train station from here your best train is about 31 minutes into the city and I think on average it's more like 35 36 some of them are as long as 40 but those are the town direct trains obviously some of them will take longer if you take a local train um, but this is a beautiful train station down here. We've got this amazing Flemish Bond brick building. Uh, I'll show you some details on the brick. They're really pretty. And uh, we're going to walk downtown, show you what's here. I should also mention here on Wednesdays, I just saw the sign on the corner of this gazebo. Wednesdays they have the farmer's market, which is always nice to have a nice farmer's market downtown so you can get some fresh produce from the area. So let's head downtown, show you what's here, give you a sense of how it might be to live in Orange, South Orange. So we're walking downtown. This is actually one of the best spots you might want to jump off the train on your way home. We've got Ashley's Supermarket here. Uh, just took a walk inside. It's a really nice selection. Uh, above that, you've got the South Restaurant and Bar. So if you're looking to grab a drink after the train uh, before you go home, you got that option. You also have a Gaslight Restaurant and Brewery. Um, so this is just one block off the train. So you get some cool options if you're on your way home and uh, you want to stop. Got a nice kitchen store here for if you want to stock up your uh, your utensils and pots and pans. So yeah, so you get some quick pizza options for lunch downtown. Then you got a diner, a nice diner here, Chris's Diner. We're walking up the main cross street here, uh, going towards Valley Street and a nice new building here behind me. Looks like there's probably gonna be rentals in that building. So we're at the top of the hill here. Um, we're at the main intersection of Valley Street. South Orange cuts through the town where you hit the train station. And then you've got Scotland Road and Valley Street uh, kind of combined here onto South Orange. You've got the town hall, some nice office buildings. And then you've got the shops that I just walked up. Sorry, it's a little loud here. Beautiful church, beautiful uh, rich brownstone um, gothic church behind us. And let's cut over and show you some of the other shops. So South Orange has about 18,000 people. Uh, it's a shared school district with Maplewood, as I mentioned in another video, which I'll link. Um, that, that school district has sev seven elementary schools, two middle schools, one high school. Each middle school serves each side of the, the town, so one for South Orange, one for Maplewood. Uh, and then South Orange has three middle schools um, that then funnel into the middle school. Both of those middle schools funnel into the main high school. Uh, overall, very well rated schools if you check out niche.com i'll link it below um, i think the overall school district is in the top 100 of new jersey so that's definitely something to consider if you're thinking about moving here to south orange in addition to uh, elementary schools middle school high school south orange is also home to seton hall university so uh, you could actually stay within the town and grow through kindergarten all the way up to high school and college so definitely a nice option if you're looking to stay local for college so we're on the other side of South Orange Avenue. Uh, we're right across from the diner. We've got the bank here, and we've got a really cool waffle shop. Um, it's making my mouth water here. It's got this 
A nice sign with the gridiron waffle shop. That looks cool. Good breakfast place on your way to the train. Maybe grab a cup of coffee. Maybe take a waffle with you to go. Um, nice little passageway to the downtown parking. Bank of America. Another good breakfast option on your way to the train is the bagel. Got the hot bagel here. And UPS store, Dunkin' Donuts coming up. Uh, you've also got the Starbucks downtown. So you've got a lot of options for coffee in the morning. And then we're at the train station already. So I'm gonna head through the tunnel and show you what's on the other side. So I just came through the tunnel. Uh, now we're on the other side of the train tracks. Got a nice Tito burrito, Tito's burritos. The wings are really good here too. Um, and then got a barber shop and another restaurant which looks really cool uh, here's the barber shop this is a nice restaurant looks like a really great outdoor garden got some cool seating here as well this is uh, bunny's restaurante got a nice burger place across the street bgr and another little diner brunch coffee so this is more like your independent coffee here we've got um, the order depending on which side you're coming to the train you could grab a coffee and then um, get on your train and get downtown to Manhattan. I should say Midtown Manhattan. Uh, looks like we got a little sushi restaurant here on the corner. And then we're, now we're over by the, uh, the outer edge of the downtown. So I just walked over about two blocks from the downtown and we're at Meadowland Park. They've got tennis, they're working on redoing their community recreation hall and uh, they've got some baseball fields, soccer fields. Um, on the other side, you've got a really pretty pond with some fountains uh, that butts up against one of the schools and there's a beautiful sculpture park. So it's kind of like four quadrants. Um, one is just an open field for picnicking and stuff. This is more the sports side. Great resource here. And it's right downtown, like I said, two blocks from the train station. Plenty of parking. You can drive down here. Um, on the weekends and check it out. Okay, so while we're here, let's talk about real estate in South Orange, New Jersey. Um, the average price over the last 12 months has been about 850,000. Um, the upper tier of pricing right now, if you're looking currently, um, there's a couple units on the market for, a couple properties I should say, on the market for right around 1.5, 1.4 million. Um, those are gonna be your larger four or five bedroom units. Um, now on the lower end of homes, you're looking at around uh, like sort of the low, mid to low 500s. Those are gonna be older, smaller homes, like three bedrooms. They're probably gonna need some work. Um, and then there are some condos here. Uh, some of them as low as like 200,000 for like one bedrooms and then mid 300s for um, like two bedroom units. So overall, the pricing, like that average I said is around 850. There are a couple that are going above a million. Uh, those are the larger, nicer homes. But that gives you a sense of the market here right now. This beautiful sculpture behind me is a modernist sculpture by Tony Smith. And I just read up on him. He was born here and lived in South Orange. He started out in painting, actually apprenticed under Frank, Frank Lloyd Wright. And then during the height of his career in the 60s, he became a sculptor. Um, so they put this here as a dedication to him and it's really beautiful. I'm gonna just pan around. Beautiful park downtown. We've got a really pretty pond with some fountains. There's lots of geese down here. Very pretty area to play. Come down and uh, run around, get some exercise. Beautiful amenity for the um, residents here in South Orange. Like many of the parks on these Midtown Direct towns, You've got some homes that abut the park, that are adjacent to the park, make for a nice setting here. Here's the pond behind me. Hey, so that's our tour of South Orange, New Jersey today. I hope you liked it. Thanks for spending time with us. If you have any questions, get in touch or leave a comment below. And in the meantime, we'll see you in the next video.